Hey fam, it's been a while. Hope you guys have been great. It's that time of the year again, except this time it's been pushed a little earlier from now till July 1st. What that basically means is that you'll have more time to get your videos done. I took about 10 days to get mine done, so two months-ish should be pretty comfy. I've received quite a few questions about the whole experience and if I had any advice for you guys. I do. After talking to you guys, I realized it's the same few important things you have to take note of for a good video. And that's what I'm going to share with you guys in this video. First off, it's a good idea to check out the official tutorial on how to get started. I'm hoping I still remember how to animate stuff there. Now, here's my advice. So I only found out about this competition 10 days before the deadline, so that was stressful. <laughs> Towards the end, you'll start getting lots of emails about submitting and on YouTube, you'll find lots of Breakthrough Junior Challenge videos appearing. So it's really important to pace yourself. That's what I tell myself before every deadline ever and guess who never... Uh, for real though, if you have the chance to start now, do it. And don't compare your work in progress to someone else's final product. Your future half-awake self on July 1st will thank you. So now, on to the first phase of making your video, deciding on a topic. I took a couple of days to narrow mine down to antibiotic resistance, and it wasn't a linear sort of decision. Uh, I mainly couldn't decide between genetics and evolution. Because the topic you choose is something that's gonna stick with you for the next two months, make sure it's a topic you really like. Make sure it's something that gets you excited just by thinking about it. Well, it doesn't have to be like a... But more like, if you find a topic that you really like, you can come up with all sorts of fun puns and metaphors, things like that. I found bacteria amazing for that purpose because you can compare bacteria to games, to Pokemon, to humans. It's The possibilities are endless. <laughs> so TLDR, think about how you can describe your topic while you're narrowing down your topic. Next comes the scripting. I'm sorry, I'm just like using a lot of hand actions because I don't have animations right now. I learned about bacteria in school, so that's how I first got interested in the topic. The first thing I did was to compile everything I knew about superbugs and antibiotic resistance, and then I supplemented it with Khan Academy and other educational websites. At the same time, I did a lot of research on how to make a good video. Some good places to start would be Breakthrough's YouTube page, because that's where you can find the semi-finalists, finalists, and winners' videos. And their website is also a good place because it has to judge criteria. The criteria was something I constantly kept at the back of my mind. Before including something in my script, I would ask myself, is this engaging? Does it convey what I mean to say? You don't have to follow it strictly, but it's just a good guide. One weird thing I found useful was watching funny ads, like the poopery ad. Those tend to stick in your head a lot more because they're so unexpected. That's something that I try to have in my videos. Be funny. Be self-deprecating. It's always good to be able to laugh at yourself, unless you do it every day because you're a joke. Like me. Something like that. TLDR, watching funny ads can actually be productive. Apart from that, I recommend watching SciShow, TED-Ed, and basically any channel that promotes science in an engaging and fun way. After that comes filming. Uh, I filmed everything with an iPhone 6. The stop motion was also done frame by frame. Then come the edits. So I used iMovie, which comes with my Mac. From what I've heard from other challengers, Adobe, After Effects, and Final Cut Pro are also pretty good options. But if you don't have a Mac and you're looking for free software, you could give Hit Film Express a shot. I remember being really impressed by Michael Poon's video and that was the software he used. Hit Film Express. Once you finish your video, congratulations! You move on to the peer-to-peer -peer review. My only advice is don't just treat it as another stage to clear. It's a really good opportunity to learn something new and from someone who is around your age. For instance, I came across a pretty cool explainer video about eyeball anatomy. I guess you could say it was eye-opening. But um, it's cool to see what other kids are interested in. So my only advice is why stop at five? From this point onwards, you will learn about your progress through emails from the breakthrough team. Because of how rushed my video was, I honestly wasn't expecting anything after peer-to-peer. -peer. That turned out good because I know of friends who got really stressed out about the whole waiting process. It takes around two weeks or more. 
It's been a while guys, really. Save yourself the stress, go out, get some waffles, treat yourself. It's not easy to make a video and you should feel proud that you did. I hope that answers your questions about the challenge. If not, feel free to slide into my Insta DMs or at me on Twitter. I will do my best to get back to you ASAP or create another one of these FAQ videos. As you might have noticed, my background is a little different from usual. This is my office and it's lunch break now. The only reason why I don't have my lunch with me is because I have consumed it. I'm working at a startup and we are about to launch a chatbot that can answer any math question. As we speak, we are preparing for a public beta launch, which I will probably insert a link somewhere. It's, it's been a while since I've animated anything, so give me a while while I make a break through... Okay, that was really bad. Like, I need to out my pun game. It's, it's all over the place. It's a process, okay? While we're at this, I'm also starting on a pretty ambitious personal challenge. That is to post a video every 10 days or so. This is really unplanned. I think it'll be pretty fun to work on videos with you guys. And if you have any questions about the video making process, we'll be on the same wavelength, so. I'll try not to touch any topics that you guys may be interested in doing. So, you know, there won't be a case of Hey, what's the copy my idea? <laughs> that was so cringe. It's more just learning new things and then sharing them with you guys. So yeah, let's work hard for the next few months and see you guys soon.